Hello everyone and welcome back. We are back for our final installment of our chakra yoga series. So our last one is our crown chakra or the one right at the top of your head. It is represented by both the color white but also a deep beautiful purple um, and it is your intuition or your connection to a higher purpose, um, connecting to whatever the idea of God or a higher power means to you, moving above and beyond just this physical body into the other realms that we sort of inhabit here. So when you are ready, go ahead and get into something comfortable. Grab your mat. I do really suggest blocks for this practice today. So if you have blocks or anything that can bring the ground up to you, that will be really fantastic. Um, so go ahead and get ready, grab those things, and I'll meet you back here. Let's get ready. Today, everyone, we're actually going to get started on our bellies. So coming flat onto your belly, extending all the way down. And once you are here, I want you to go ahead and place hands on top of hands and relax the head down on those hands. So settling in, starting to breathe in to your belly. You can let those heels gently drift out. Pressing that breath into the earth underneath you, taking just a few grounding breaths here as we settle down and in. So try to make sure you're not lifting your head like I am here. I'm just doing that so you can hear me so I can project a little bit more. But really let that head soften and hang heavy into the mats or into those hands, softening through the shoulders. We're not holding ourselves up here, but letting everything just reach down into the mat. Taking this moment of stillness, enjoying our time here. And with every single inhale, I want you to deepen that breath just a little bit more. And start to exhale, trying to match your inhale. Examining the way our body feels. Starting at the base of those toes, relaxing up through the legs, through that low back, our belly, shoulders and chest. Relaxing through both of the arms, the back of the neck, all of the muscles of the face, and finally through the crown of the head. So settling in right here, Taking this time, let go of your day, whether it's morning, evening, or somewhere in between. Just let go of anything that's happening in your life that is going to distract you from this time on your mat. Anytime an outside thought starts to work its way in, gently thank it for coming and let it go. Taking just a few more rounds of breath right here, letting yourself soften. One more nice big breath, really expand through that belly. Exhale, let it go. And on your inhale, slowly rise the head up off of those hands, placing the hands under the shoulder blades here. You can tuck the toes under if it's easier for you or just press up onto those knees. We're gonna take the knees directly under the hips, the hands under those shoulders, nice flat back, finding our tabletop. Take a second, drop the ears from shoulder to shoulder. Little stretch here, maybe starting to wag that tail, waking everything up. Finding movements that feel good just for you today. And on your next inhale, go ahead and drop the belly, drop the chest, let that head rise. Cow pose. Exhale, drawing navel up and into the spine, arch the back, find your cat. Inhale, dropping the belly, dropping the chest, rise through the head. And exhale, arching that spine up and back. Find a few more rounds here, connecting to your spinal column all the way from the base of that tailbone, 
up through the crown of your head, feeling the movement with each and every vertebra. Feeling the expansion, the retraction through all of those muscles, settling in. On your next inhale, come back through center, taking a moment here. Take a second and tuck those toes behind you, pressing the heels or pressing in to those heels to give the feet a nice, good stretch. Finding an exhale, starting to arch the spine up and back while keeping those hips back towards the heels. Inhale, drawing it slightly forward, still keeping pressure with those toes, rise through the chin. Exhale, leaning back into those heels, arching the back, let that head fall. Good, inhale, drawing it forward. Exhaling, arching up and back, send those hips back, let the head fall. One more time, big inhale. And exhale, arching up and back. Inhale, returning through your center here. Go ahead and untuck those toes. Make sure our knees are still directly under those hips. Recentering off that spine, getting any last little wiggles out that feel good for you. You always have the option to take a second and come off of those wrists when you need to, rolling one side and then the other. And then as you're ready, I want you to step just the right foot out, tuck the toes under on the mat or the floor behind you. Finding a little bounce through that heel, stretching the back of the leg. On your next inhale, lifting that foot up, pointing the toes down. Exhale, drawing knee in towards the nose, curl the head towards the leg. Inhale, reaching up and back, growing tall through the spine. Exhale, curling it in and under. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, curling in and under. Inhale, out. And exhale, dropping knee next to knee. Take a second here, bring the big toes together, the knees up nice and wide. Shift those hips back for child's pose. Walking the hands out on your mat here, melting the head, neck, and chest down towards the mat. Relax the head down. You can bring your palms together, digging the elbows in to the mat, drawing the hands back behind the head, getting a little extra shoulder stretch here if that feels good for you. We're going to take three more breaths right here, so settle down and in. Deepening your breath, deepening your practice. Ignoring all of those external stressors, letting it be just you on this mat here today. On your next inhale, plant those hands back down. If they're tucked behind you, slowly start to press your way back up, meeting me in that tabletop position. Stacking the hands under those shoulders, knees under those hips. When you're ready, find an inhale, step the left toes out and back. So onto that mat or on to the ground, depending on where you are at. Going ahead to bounce through the toes, getting the stretch through the back of that leg. Inhale, lifting the toes up to hip height, tucking the toes under, so a nice flexed foot. Exhale, finding that knee in towards the nose, curling the head back and under. Inhale, nice big reach, kick it out. Exhale, drawing it in. Inhale, reaching out one more time. Exhale, drawing it in. Inhale, kicking out. Good, and exhale, returning back to the mat. Once again, find that child's pose. Big toes together, knees out nice and wide. Send those hips back. If you have blocks here, any of those props that will bring the floor up to you, whether it is a pillow, a bolster, a blanket that you roll up, any of the sort. I know some people have been using paint buckets and things like that. So find what works for you. Um, but we're gonna place those hands on whatever prop you have. 
And I want you to start to melt that head, neck, and chest down, getting a little deeper into those shoulders. You don't have to reach the head down to the mat. You can be right here. Or if this doesn't feel great for you on those shoulders or that upper back, go ahead and remove the hands from the block altogether and take your extended child's pose in a way that feels best for you. Let's find a couple more nice big breaths right here. Really enjoying that stretch through the hips, shoulders, that upper back. One more nice big breath in and out. Finding an inhale, let's go ahead and work our way up. Step the hands off your props, returning to that tabletop position as you are ready. Let's go ahead and swing those hips side to side, little hip circles here, reawakening, rejuvenating through the base of that spine, working our way all the way up to that crown. So finding those little shifts, organic movements, that work just for your body today. And then as you're ready, go ahead and sit back on those heels that up nice and tall through the chest. Inhale to reach the arms all the way up and open. Exhale, palms face down, let it go. Two more times, inhale, nice big reach. Exhaling to let it go. Release that tension from the shoulders. One more time, inhale. And exhale, sink it down and let it go. I want you to find those props, whatever you're using, your blocks, bolsters, blankets, paint buckets. Run the gambit here, whatever works best for you. And we are going to place one on either side of our feet. We're gonna keep our toes untucked here. If it's more stable for you to tuck them, go ahead. But try to keep the feet, those top of the feet flat so you can press down and in with the top of the foot, feeling the connection there. So just working your way into a half camel. You can always just keep those hands on the hips here, sending the hips forward, lifting the chest and rising through the chin. That is a perfectly beautiful camel. So work with your practice today where you are at. If you would like to go a little bit deeper, we're gonna reach back with that left hand, keep the hips stacked over the knees, lifting through the head, neck, and chest, reach that right arm back and open. So hand can either be like this or fingertips pointing out, whichever feels better for you, but using that prop, that block, to lift the upper body up so we're not crunching in to that spine. Inhale, engaging that core, coming back up through center. Good. Taking a second, resetting yourself. And then we'll bring the right hand onto that block, keeping the hips over the knees, reach the left arm up and back. Find your camel on the other side. Not losing sight of that breath here. Good, inhale, squeeze through that core, coming back up through center walking the props with us in front. And we're gonna work our way into a Malasana or Yogi squat here. So both of the soles of the feet coming down on to the mat. You have the option to stay right here, sinking down as deep as you can. The goal is to get those heels flat on the mat. If this is uncomfortable for you, I highly suggest grabbing your prop, placing it under those glutes so you can sit up just a little bit taller here. This is great. Hands come to heart center, elbows pressing in to those legs. So sinking in and sinking down. Close your eyes, relax the chin to chest. Starting to breathe into those hips, really waking them up pretty quickly here. Good, on your exhale, let's drop that right hand down, left arm reaches up and open. Little baby twists through that spine, gaze tilts up, chin lifts. 
Exhale, the arm comes down, taking it to the other side. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, returning back through center. Slowly and carefully standing up through those legs. Heel toe the feet in a little bit closer. So we find ourselves in a forward fold. Relaxing through the back of the neck. You might find that your legs feel super stiff here. That's normal. You can keep a little bend through those knees, letting the hamstrings warm up on their own. Breathing into the belly, sinking a little deeper. On your next inhale, legs go straight, hands come to those shins, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale one more time, hands to shins, halfway lift. And exhale. Let it go. From here, walking those hands out, we're going to find our down dog. So taking whatever moment you need, stepping the hands forward, stepping the toes back, sinking through the head, neck, and chest, pressing those palms into the earth, pressing down with all 10 of the finger pads, making connections through each and every toe, and breathe in and out. With every exhale, you find yourself start to sink a little deeper with those inhales. We're expanding, creating space through our back, through our shoulders. Inhale, coming forward onto those toes, shift your weight into a high plank. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Option to reach back, right hand touches left shin. Inhale, drawing it back forward, high plank. Exhale, sending those hips up and back, taking that left hand, touching right shin. Good. Inhale, drawing it forward. Exhale, sending up and back, touching that shin. Inhale, drawing forward. Exhale, back and touch. One more time each side. Inhale, find your plank. Exhale, touching back. Inhale, nice high plank. And exhale, touching it back. Good. Meet me in that down dog one more time. And then finding your inhale, let's lift through that right leg, three-legged dog. Toes point down, hips stay square. Exhale, stepping it all the way through, dropping that left heel down. Meet me in a warrior two. So arms reach out like a T. Your shoulders and your hips are square to, towards the side as much as it can be. If, that is, if you're someone who that doesn't feel quite comfortable, just make sure that those shoulders and hips stay in line with each other. So our knee is pointing forward. We can see that big toe on the inside of the knee. Reach those arms up and open when you're ready. Relax the shoulders down the spine. Pull those pinkies back. Gaze comes forward over the front middle finger. Squeeze that core, find your stability, not just through the feet, but through that core area. On your next exhale, taking that front forearm down onto the leg, reaching left arm up and open, side angle. So finding that connection from the toes all the way up, through that upper arm. So not cutting it off by bringing the arm up to the sky, but reaching long overhead, maybe lifting that chin slightly. And not fully sinking into this arm here. You should be able to comfortably move that arm out of the way. Good. Inhale, straighten through that front leg. Point your toes towards the side of the room and exhale, forward fold. So giving those legs just a little moment, a little break here. Breathing in and out, nice and deep. Maybe shifting side to side through those hips, giving a little wiggle. And then as you're ready, inhale, halfway lift, roll the shoulders up and back. Exhale, full fold. 
Inhale, slowly rolling it all the way back up to center, coming all the way back to stand. Pointing the left toes out this time towards the back of your space, finding our warrior two in the other direction. So bending through that knee, opening through the hips, taking all of those steps to find our successful warrior two, making sure our feet are on a similar plane, relaxing the shoulders down, pulling those pinkies back. Big breath in here. On your exhale, front forearm comes down onto the thigh, reaching that right arm up and open. Once again, finding that extended side angle, making sure that connection, that energy is running all the way up the leg, the torso, the arm, reaching up overhead, looking towards the sky. Can you bend that front knee just a little bit deeper? Settling in, embrace the shake if you're there. Beautiful, inhale that front leg goes straight, point the toes towards the side. Meet me back in that wide leg fold, however it feels good for you to get there. You have the option here to keep those hands on the earth if that feels good for you. If you're someone who is in your practice to come on to those forearms, you can come right here as well. But don't strain to get there. If you are up on those fingertips today or if it feels more comfortable for you to grab opposite elbows, that is where I want you to be. This is your practice and no one else's. So listen to your body where you are at each and every day that you step on that mat because every day you're bringing different things to the table and you deserve to listen to each and every part of your body. So give me three more nice big breaths right here. Good, inhale, finding that halfway lift one more time. Heel toe those feet in just a little bit closer. So we can sink it back into our malasana or into that yogi squat here, lifting through the chest, hands to heart center, maybe finding a smile on your face as well. If you are sideways across your mat like I am, go ahead and take a second and hobble your way back to face the front, bringing those hands back down to the mat. Go ahead and hop or step both feet back, finding your down dog. Inhale, reach that right foot up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping it through, dropping the left knee down. Always an option to fold over the edge of your mat for a little extra support for that knee. Low lunge. So staying here, we should be able to comfortably lift those hands, but you can keep the fingertips gracing the earth. This is another fantastic moment for one or both blocks to enter our practice. When you're ready, I want you to plant the left hand down either on the mat or on a block, reach the right arm up and open. So still getting into those twists, wringing out the spine just a little bit here. Exhale, returning back to the earth, stepping that right foot back, walk the hands down to the mat, and meet me in here, down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, step it all the way through, meeting me in that low lunge once again. Maybe hands on the earth, maybe on that block, lifting through the chest, pressing those hips forward. Couple more breaths right here. And then as you're ready, right hand plants into the mat or to that block, reach the left arm up and open. Exhale, our hand returns down to the earth, stepping the knee next to me. Going ahead to move those blocks out of the way. And I want you to take both of the forearms down onto the earth, interlace the fingers here. Take a second to drop the head down. If headstand is in your practice, you can work there now. We're not going to do that as part of this video, but I do have another video that has some steps for a headstand here. 
But today, we're just gonna go ahead and bring the top of that head down. You're bracing with your hands, pressing in with those elbows, tucking the toes underneath you, and just walking the toes in until you can feel those hips start to stack. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Good, walk those toes back on out. Drop the knees down. And take a second here, dropping the hands back by the heels, palms face up, and rolling up on the top of your head for rabbit. Exhale, relaxing back on down, and inhale, slowly rolling it up to a seated position. Taking a second, rocking that chin from side to side, ear to shoulder on both directions. And then as you're ready, we're gonna come on to our bottoms and all the way down to our backs. Nice and slow, relaxing it back. Finding one more inversion here today. Like I said, if you were someone who had standards in your practice, you are welcome to meet us there. Or we can just reach those heels up in the air, finding our candlestick, breathing in deep, relax the toes. Close your eyes. Exhale, start to bend those knees, bringing the feet back to the earth. If you're in any other inversion, go ahead and meet us flat on your backs. Taking a second to windshield wiper the knees side to side. Releasing that low back. And then as you're ready, the soles of the feet come together, knees out nice and wide, Baddha Konasana. Arms reaching overhead, stacking hand on top of hand to mirror those feet. Take a second here, closing the eyes. And once again, finding that scan of the body. Paying special attention as we reach the hips. Slowly scanning your way up the spine, through our chakras. Through the roots. All the way up to our crown at the top of our head. And letting your body at once be one with each and every part, but in the same time, letting go of all of the sensations around you. Letting yourself settle in to just this moment on your mat, trying to quiet the mind, trying to let go. You are welcome here. If it feels good to do so, to extend the legs and bring the palms face up by your sides. Or you can stay right where you're at for our Shavasana. Taking one last big inhale and exhaling to let it go. Allow each and every area to soften, grow heavy and release. As we spend these next few moments in silent meditation.
when you are ready, begin to bring your attention back to your breath. Taking a big breath in and gently out. Finding a wiggle in your fingers and your toes. Making any gentle adjustments that feel right for you to reorient to the space around you. And you can take a moment to roll off to one side and spend a second there. Or maybe you hug those knees up and into the chest, giving everything a nice big squeeze. And finding a gentle, soft rock up to a comfortable, easy seat for us to end our practice together. Take your time. When you arrive, sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach the arms all the way up and open. Exhale, hands arrive at heart center. Thank you all so very much for joining me wherever you are in the world. Om Shanti, Om Peace, and Namaste.